Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about templates in Hugo. Now, now templates are a more advanced subject in Hugo. And really, when we talk about templates, we're talking about HTML templates. And so if you're not someone who's comfortable, you know, writing HTML and CSS and basically coding for the web, then templates might be a little bit above your head. You know, if you kind of just want to produce content and not have to worry about you know, the inner workings of the website, you don't have to worry about the HTML and the styling, then what you wanna do is use a theme. And up until this point, if you've been following along with this course, we've been using a specific Draft Academy theme. And you can find a link to download that theme in the description below. But when we start talking about templates, we're actually talking about building, in a way, our own theme. Now, you see, a Hugo theme is actually made up of Hugo templates. And so this video is basically just gonna give you an introduction into what templates are. We're gonna talk about how they're used on our website, and we're gonna look at the different types of templates. So the best way to explain templates is to head over to our website. Now, before I do that, I just wanna show you, I have this, con in my content folder, I have a couple different directories with different pages, and this, and this is basically just to demonstrate you know, what a normal website would kinda of look like. But just know that I, I already have created several pages. So we'll head over to our website and you'll notice here that I'm, I'm on the home page. And this home page is, is basically just listing out all of the pages in our website. Now, in Hugo, there are two different types of content, right? Two sort of high level types of content. We have list pages and we have single pages. And so this home page, as you can see over here, is a list page, right? And a list page is responsible for listing out all of the content that is in the directory, right? If I was to come up here, and type in dir1. Now dir1 is a directory that I have uh, created. Dir1 is also a list template and dir1 is displaying all of the files that are inside of this directory one, right? B, C, and D. So these are list pages, but we also have single pages. So if I was to click on this uh, D right here, this would be the D page and this is a single page, right? The single page, just displays the information that's on a particular page in the content folder. So we have these two different types of pages. Now, what I want you to notice is that all of the list pages and all of the single pages look basically the same, right? In other words, I'm on here, this is the home page, this is a list page, and it looks this way, right? It has, you know, it's just listing out all of these pages. When I go back to dir1, this dir1 page, it looks exactly the same, right? The header's the same, the footer's the same, it's formatted the same, where it's listing out all the pages the same. The only differences are, you know, which things are showing up here, and also um, some things are changing, right? This says home, whereas in Dir1 it says section, right? So there's certain elements on the page are changing, but overall it looks the same. And it's the same with all of these single pages, right? If I go to this D page, it looks almost exactly the same as the C page with the exception of, you know, the content is being changed. And so this brings us into what are called templates. And a template is basically just a piece of HTML code, right? It's an overall like HTML skeleton, the same on every single page, right? Or every single type of page. So all of these list pages, for example, have a template, right? It's this list template. And you can see that I have that written here. All of the single pages have a single template, and you can see that I have that written there as well. And so if I'm on the D page, it has a single template. If I'm on a C page, it has a single template. So all of these single pages are using the same template. In other words, they're using the same overall HTML skeleton, HTML structure to display the content. The only difference is the specific content. So the only difference between this C page is, you know, the title and the date and the content. The header and the footer are the same, right? If I go to this D page, it has the same header and it has the same footer, but the date, the title, and the content is different. And it's the same with these list pages, right? I'm on this dir1 list page right here. It has that list template header, and if I go back to the home page, it's the same thing, right? It just, it still has that list template header. It's just certain parts of it have changed. And this is really the essence of templates. Templates allow you to create an overall HTML skeleton or structure, and then you can inject and insert your specific content into there, right? So actually, this G page and this E page have, you know, almost the same exact HTML. It's the only differences are um, the HTML that's created from this markdown. 
And so that's basically the essence of templates is that they allow you to create containers, HTML containers that you can put all of your content in. And as we see here, we can have different types of templates. So we can have a template for list pages. We can have a template for single pages. Now let's head over here to this code. And I want to show you uh, just a little bit of code from this theme. So I'm going to go to my themes folder. And like I said, this GA Hugo theme, this is a theme that I created specifically for this course. If you're not using this theme, um, you can do a similar thing with whatever theme you are using. And so I'm just going to look down here and you'll see inside this theme, we have this layouts folder. Now, any template that you use in Hugo is going to go inside of this layouts folder. This is where all the templates live. And so if I click down in this uh, layouts folder, you're going to see we have a couple different folders here. We have default, we have partials, and you can also have other folders in here as well. I'm going to click on this default uh, folder. And basically what this means is th this is the default templates that are going to be used for all of our pages. And in here we have two different files. We have list.html and we have single.html. Now, I bet you can guess what these do. This list.html page is actually the template that's used for all of our list pages. So for example, our home page or our directory one page, all of those pages are using this same template. This is actually the page that is going to act as a skeleton. It's going to act as a container for any of the list pages on our website. And you can see inside of this HTML file, there's all sorts of uh, little n code notations here. And, and these are special pieces of code that you can use inside of your Hugo templates to do some cool things. So if you look at this piece of code in particular, what this does is it takes all of the content on the specific page you're at and inserts it into this template. So this template is what creates the look and feel of all of the list pages on our websites. Similarly, if we come over here to this single.html file, it's the same thing, right? This is the layout. This is the skeleton for all of the single pages on our website. So let's do a test here. We're here in this single.html page. And let's say that uh, right below our header, so you can see this is uh, what's called a partial, and we're going to get into that later. But so right after the header of our page, let's just make a paragraph and we'll put in some test text, okay? And we can save this. Now, if we head over into our website, I'll go to this single page, this G, and you'll notice that this test text shows up right there. If I go into this E file, same thing. If I go into this D file, same thing. And so you can see that this is acting as a template for all of the single pages on our website. Now, there's a lot to talk about with templates and I'm gonna have several lessons going into all of the details on everything. But for now, just understand that all of the pages on our website can be encompassed in a template. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.